One of the most prevalent forms of attack methods is ransomware. Ransomware basically encrypts all files on your computer system and basically requires a ransom in order for you to unlock those files, which it rarely ever does. So the severity of this attack is really dependent on a few key factors. One, how many devices were encrypted? How frequently do you back up your data? And are your backups version controlled? We will go through those in detail now. The more frequently you back up your data, the less impact it has that ransomware will actually affect your system. If you work entirely online using G Suites or some similar web app, you are less likely to be affected because you are already on a cloud storage. However, you are not entirely immune. When consulting, you should suggest businesses create a series of backups, also known as version controlled backups. These are backups that have all happened at different points of time. This will ensure that you are always have a clean backup to restore to in the event that your system is ever infected. If you do not have version control backups, you are continuously overriding a single backup. Then this typically means that in the event that you do not catch the attacker is on your system, you could theoretically back up that malware and basically render all of your backups useless. So that is why version control is so important. These attacks can be quite harmless if you have a good backup in place. However, it can be quite tedious to restore if your data isn't used in a raw file backup instead of a full system backup. There are different types of backups that a small business can run. And as business consultants, we need to be aware of what those types are. So that way we can educate our small businesses on basically what backups they should be running. The level of sensitivity to the data depicts basically what backup you should run. So for example, there are three types. You have full system backup, you have file level backup, and then you also have an incremental system backup. A full system backup is also known as a mirror image. A mirror image or a full system backup is basically all files on the system, user generated, with like Word documents and, and pictures and the like, as well as system files. So in the event that your entire system gets encrypted, you have a backup that basically can restore the entire system again. Now, file level backup. This is basically only user generated files. So user generated, I mean documents, pictures, and basically anything that you have been saving on the system. And then you have incremental backup. An incremental backup basically works by combining the full system and the file level together. And what it does is it basically takes a full system backup once, and then every time a file is changed, it basically scans the system and only updates the files in the backup that have been changed. So that way it is better on storage and there's not a lot of um, repeat files. And basically it keeps your costs down if you're uploading to a cloud storage. Each backup comes with its different sets of advantages and disadvantages. A small business should consider running a full system or a file level backup once a week and running an incremental backup daily. This will ensure that their files are always up to date and that ransomware can never be affected them. For Windows 8 or higher, there is a file level backup called file history that is free on all Windows PCs. For all businesses running Mac OS, there is a time machine software that is installed and is free for you to use as well. There are also plenty of third-party backup softwares out there that allow you to do a combination of everything we've already discussed.